What's up guys? So we're going to be smashing it with my good friend Max here. Uh, well, fr friend or victim, I don't know, we'll soon find out, we'll soon find out. But we have never trained together. Uh, Max has recently lost like 90 pounds, so he's a former shell of his previous self, right, in a good way. However, what we're going to do is go through a workout today, because I want to check his form, I want to see if he's going to failure, and I want to show him some principles today. So, you know, to, to show that you can mix things up a little bit. You don't have to do exactly everything by the book in the program that I give you. You can swap up some principles. We'll do some one and a half reps. We'll do some drop sets. We'll do a, maybe a superset. We'll see if the equipment's available. We'll just do some different things that maybe you're not used to. So you go, oh, right, I can swap things up and it doesn't have to be so boring and bland. We can change things up a little bit. So that's what it's all about. It's not always about just destroying the muscle. It is breaking the muscle tissue down and not trying to throw up at the same time. It's also trying to figure out ways of creating more resistance and more application to the muscle without necessarily having to put a shitload of weight on there. And that could be like the speed of the rep of the range or something like that. Yep. But Max, Excited. you've been training here for about a week now? About, I'm almost two weeks now. About two weeks and you're loving it, eh? I love it. Yeah, this place is amazing. Yeah, it is a good joint. Yeah. It is a good joint. So. Let's get into this uh, leg workout from hell. Yeah, we'll call it that. All right, so we're doing one and a, we've warmed up and now we're doing one and a half repetition. So up, halfway down and then up, help you get past that sticking point. And this isn't like a heavy exercise. It's an exercise to pre-fatigue the muscle before we go on to other movements. So we don't have to go so heavy when we go on to those compounds. We're just trying to get blood in there, wake the muscle up, wake the mind up, and get a burn. So what we did was unilateral exercise, so just one side and then the other, and we did a drop set. So we started off with 20 repetitions, meaning we reached failure at around 20 repetitions. Then we dropped the weight and then did 10 repetitions. Then we dropped the weight again and then did 10 repetitions, and we did that on both sides. And as you can see, Max was reaching failure on the last set at around five repetitions. So what we did was just rest pause. We rest for five seconds, allow that ATP, the Addison triphosphate, to replenish itself into the muscle group. And if you've got plenty of glycogen or carbs in your body, the glycogen will suck itself out of the muscle, out of the liver to fuel yourself for the rest of the few reps. So you can just throw in some, uh, some rest pause repetitions there. So we're gonna, f we're gonna start off with full repetitions. And then we're gonna, um, ap after we've done 10 of those, we're gonna to go to the top and halfway down, 10, nine, eight. And then we're gonna go at the bottom half, 10 half repetitions, okay? What I really like about this machine is that you don't get any lower back pressure. I can't squat because of my lower back, but here, absolutely fine. Just hold on wherever you want, feel comfortable, but okay. stable, you know. I like to go about three quarters of the way up. I don't lock my knees. I need you to go down deeper. Okay. All right? And if you watch my repetitions, I don't pause at the top or the bottom. I was only pausing because it hurt. <laughs> so I need you to go a little lower. So 
only go three quarters of the way up. Okay. If you lock out, it's going to put a lot of pressure on your knees okay. and your muscles will disengage. Okay. What we're trying to do is not think about how many fucking reps. We're trying to reach failure with as little reps as possible, underneath 20. Huh? Okay. So what people will confuse a lot of the time is the repetition number as opposed to the function and the form of that repetition. Like if Max was to go twice as heavy, but only use a shorter range of motion and maybe lock out the top, that wouldn't do half as good for his development as going half the amount of weight and having a fuller range of motion and not disengaging. So a little bit different with this rep, we're gonna come down halfway, pause, go down further and then back up, pause again at that sticking point and back up. This helps people get through sticking points on their squats. I find a lot of people get that sticking point where they just cannot increase their strength. Hitting these uh, midpoint pauses just helps you get past some of these uh, sticking points I found. We're gonna do a drop set now. So once I get uh, as many reps as I can out with this, we'll drop the weight, a plate off each side, and go again, see how many reps and get out. All right, that's a wrap. We finished that workout off. Now, after we did the V squats, we went to the Smith machine and we did some banded lunges there. And uh, I quite like the banded lunges because using the bands, you get a lot of tension at the top and not so much pressure on at the bottom on your knees. So we did a, a couple of sets there. The form was a little bit awkward for Max on that exercise. So we decided to go over to the walk-in lunges. Thankfully, my knee felt, felt fine on there. I didn't use any weight, but we went higher repetitions, did a few sets, just walking up and down. I don't even know what reps we did. We went a little bit wider on that stance to make sure that we did target the hamstrings a little bit and not just quads, because the quads were quite obliterated after these exercises. And then we came and finished off with the hamstring curls. So we did several sets here, and these were drop sets. So every single working set, was a drop set here and we did double, double drop. So we reached at a low repetitions on this one for about six to eight reps, dropped the weight, did another six to eight reps and then dropped the weight. I was doing about 12 repetitions on the very last set there, you know? So, you know, we're, we're targeting the fast twitch muscle fibers and the slow twitch muscle fibers to a certain extent with the high repetitions and with the drop sets and doing some partial reps in there as well, doing some pause repetitions to get through sticking points and change things up a little bit. And obviously some unilateral reps leg extensions so uh yeah it's a good it's a good workout so i want to get max's pov on this the first time that we've worked out together as you can see he's sweating he got a good workout in and what i really liked is that you didn't give up he said i prefer to throw up than give up and that's what i like to hear yeah i'd rather i'd rather puke and quit <laughs> but i learned a lot about the the control and the, the form and the timing you know i i definitely can tell on my previous stuff that i've done without you I, i'm rushing 
I'm in a hurry, like I'm not, I'm not completing the rep and doing the things that I probably should. Locking out over there, like on the squats, I've been locking out, not staying engaged. Um, like I was telling you, like even with crunches where, you know, like a normal crunch, I'm like, oh, I got tons of them. Then I did like 10 bicycle crunches and it was like, holy crap difference. Like it was yeah. a big difference. So uh, definitely a lot about the form and finishing the rep and everything today. So it was, uh, it was awesome. I'm, I'm exhausted. That's awesome. <laughs> exactly how it should be. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a good workout, and that, that's what it's all about. Getting the quality of the workout done. No distraction, not fucking around on your phone or anything. Just staying in the zone. And get in here in plenty of time so you're not rushing thinking about work. Like, I know how much this guy works, and he works freaking hard, and he works a lot, of, a lot of hours, and he's got a lot of responsibilities. So I can only imagine that's on your mind when you open your email box and you see a shitload of emails in, you're not like partially rushing your workout because you gotta get to work. Yeah, and even here, like the first thing, this is honestly probably only the second time I put my phone down. My phone's over there in a cubby. I didn't yeah. bring my phone with me. I didn't have headphones in. I just focused on what we were doing. And that's how you be harder to kill, man. Condition be harder resolve. to kill. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you very much. And thank you very much for joining Appreciate me. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's a real good workout. If you do have any questions at all, please do ask them below in the comment box. But if you want to see any more videos in particular, then please let us know as well. But if not, at least like, at least comment, and subscribe.